Philip. We appreciate you and the sleepers. De you definitely started off with a slow, with a slower, with a slower vibe, but uh, that was actually a really good song as well. But the last three was definitely thumping. So I appreciate that, man. We are here once again. It is an unfamiliar voice. Well, my shit pretty familiar, but I'm just in a, you know, in a different role this time. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> hey, man, it is your host with the most. It is Mr. Make Your Hoe Get Down, the man of a thousand hoes himself. The good brother Boom is in the building. July 13th, 2022, we in the building. Set up for another dope show. We got a couple different topics for y'all. Subscribe on this episode. You holding it down. Shout out. Is that me or you just keep going in and out? We let some brothers introduce. That's my end. At, you know, everybody got their own style, so. I see my brother Philip in the building. Uh, that you you keep going in and out. That's on my end, boo. Uh, uh, by everybody else, y'all y'all can hear him clear. Yo yo yo, I'm good. I'm good. He sounds good. He sounds good to me. Sounds good. Okay, he just kept going in and out on my end. I didn't know if that was uh my shit. We good. You good, Lucci? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we good, man. <laughs> this nigga got. I, I know what that was. That was a little animosity. That was a little anim Yeah, yeah. He was, okay. was going in and out. Pause. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, oh, hey, stop. Yo, stop. Come on, man. Get off of y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Let's, 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 let's move forward. Let's move forward. Amic amicably. Amicably. Uh, yeah, man. That was Phil that brought you them sleepers. So I'm going to let my brother Phil introduce himself. And then, you know what I mean? Anybody else that want to step up afterwards, man, make sure you state your name and your case, man. Hey, yo. It's Phil from Mobile. Phil Will from Mobile. Yeah. Your friendly neighborhood. Neighbor, 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 neighbor. Murder and Mardi Gras. Uh, mm -hmm. brother, brother Boom mentioned it earlier. I played a couple of sleepers for the brothers before we started the pod. And just get out your name. Get out the names of the records that I played. Uh, the first record I played was called Orbit by Stefan Mahandra. It's a dope record. You know what I'm saying? Play that with your lady. Uh, the second record I played was called Can You Dig It by Jonah Cruz. Uh, third record I played was East Haiti Baby by Big Mucci Great. Shout out to Memphis. And the fourth song I played was a classic but goody. If you know, you know. Long Little Game by T.I. Right. Right. Appreciate that too. That that was that was near and dear to me too. Shout out shout out Tip. Um uh, shit, I see Thanos in the building, Dapo in the building, Brother Main in the building. Uh Lucci uh kindly interrupted uh you know my intro so maybe he got something to say if he would like to introduce himself as well yo, who in the yo, building yo. kyle in the building black in the building marabi in the building yeah the, the, yeah. the usual suspects is here go ahead luchi yo yo just the dude you say dapple in the building Okay, yeah, this, yeah, this the dude, man, <laughs> undefeated Lucha, man. Yeah, you know what it is, double L, man. We mm here, -hmm. man. It's we pod podcast, bro. You know what it is, uptown, man. Holly Grove, seventeen, all that shit, man. We here tonight, man. Shout out okay. to Dapple. Oh, shout out my brother Unk too, man. My brother Unk in the building too, man. Can't forget my nigga Unk, my nigga Cool Joe as well. We ain't gonna forget nobody, man. Shout out to Lucci, Louisiana Lucci in the building. Yeah, what's up, man? going on what's going on it's the big bottle drinking full throttle thinking always unless you're on the knee then yours is true yeah. you know what I'm saying for a second cap that's mm -hmm. what we're doing Right. Yeah, yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, I'm in the building tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of them. It's one of them. Surprise. Marabi, where you at, good brother? My brother from Georgia. Queen Jersey today, man. Mm. Actually, New York City, actually. My bad. 
Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, brother, mo brother moving around. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, see. Let me see. Let me see who I want to uh, call on next. Thanos, where you at, good sir? Hey, what up? It's, it's your boy, Ty. Uh, I'm getting my headset together. Don't pause me. It's been a rough day, but we here, man. <laughs> Shout out y'all, man. Get some man. Oh, man. <laughs> it's one of them. One of them. I ate it. What's good with you, sir? Yo, what's good with you, bro? Yo, congrats on your baby, man. You killing it so far. It's your boy, Big Hiatus. Brother Big. Biggest. Boxy Hiatus. Biggest. Pod, you know what it is, man. Definitely. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. I see, I see, brother Dapo in here. Uh, he he took a straight bullet a couple moments ago. You got a counter to that, good sir? The coach sees everything. Mm, Jesus, Don Demarco, Marco, Marco. That's all that need to be said. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, good brother Black is in the building as well. He don't speak much, but when he do, he normally got something profound to say. Talk to us, sir. Yo, yo. yo. Make sure niggas got the building. Uh, yeah, four black yeah. star in the building, man. Five one two. Repping that Austin, Texas, man. Big text in the building, man. Okay, man, we, okay, we, we okay. killing today, man. We killing. For sure, for sure, for sure. We gonna keep it in Texas, man. Shout out my brother Hunk, man. Uh, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let him let you know where he's from. Hunk, is you in the building or not? Damn. Hell no. Hell no. Nah, he unmuted. Unmute. Well, the nigga unmuted and didn't say nothing. These Dallas niggas sometimes be, I don't, I don't know what's up with him. But uh, he probably attempting to say something right now, thinking he's being heard. But uh, shout out my brother Unk in the building, man. Uh, Dallas in the building. The show. Uh, I hate to do an intro for him, but that's how we getting down, man. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna move right along. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure I ain't miss nobody. Oh, brother Cujo in the building. Is Cujo? Uh, are you prepared? To speak this, sir? Big jerseys. Yeah, hold mic up, man. Yo, yo, yo. I'm here. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, okay. Here. Support, brother. Show up. Okay. Okay. Well, the most important thing we heard was Jersey in the building. So, uh, shout out to that. Shout out to Jersey. Hey, I see my brother. Building. See my brother Maine in the building. Shout out to the West Coast. Right. Go right. Go back. Go back. Yeah. Go back. Go back. They'll catch it later. They'll understand later. All right, man. Everybody has introduced themselves to my knowledge. Uh, again, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Appreciate everybody that's currently in the building right now. Again, like, click, and subscribe on this episode. This is Is We Podding, episode 16. So let's go ahead and get right to the shits. <sighs> Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on now. We just had another brother join, so I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him go ahead and get his bars off real quick. Brother Geo, just joined the party. Geo, go ahead and introduce yourself real quick. Okay, that brother shy today, so we're gonna go ahead and skip Geo. Uh, brother can't say nothing. Big Philly, big Philly in the building. Yeah, yeah, Philadelphia in the building for show. Sure. Uh, shout out Gutter City affiliates. Uh, shout out easy to block captain. We'll get it. We'll, we'll, we may talk about it later, but let's get straight to the shits, man We got a wealth of topics for y'all today, but we getting we getting to the shits early And the first topic at hand We spoke on this a couple of days ago. You got the chat booming. If you're not aware of the chat The chat is is we potting it is on the platform called discord Go to your app store Type in Discord, download that motherfucker. Then when you do that, go to Is We Podden. It's very simple. First topic at hand tonight. Brothers had some discrepancies. 
This is generational talk. This is era talk. This is where was you at talk. Mm. Was niggas really there? Rugrats versus SpongeBob SquarePants. Which series, or excuse me, which television show was more powerful? Now, on the surface, on the surface, for you millennials, it does appear as if SpongeBob SquarePants just got the, the runaway lead, but after further research, it's not quite apparent. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and lead off and give my opinion on this topic, and yes, I am 100% biased. Um, it's really no competition in my eyes, all, with all due respect. Uh, I understand the double entendre of sponge being in water and shit like, yeah, you know what I mean? That, that shit cool, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm a Rugrats nigga, man. Uh, that's just the time that I grew up in. That's the era that I was in. Uh, to me, they they kind of they kind of set the precedent, you know what I'm saying? Kind of set the standard amongst a couple other shows, but we won't get into those. We highlighting Rugrats right now. I mean, you got Tommy Pickles, who was to me, he was just a he was just a thug. He was just a thug nigga, like you know what I'm saying? Like whatever whatever needed to be done, like he was with the shits, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, and I think my brother Thanos referenced this earlier. Like my my man's kept a screwdriver in, in the in the huggy. Like I don't I don't know too many niggas that did that. You know what I'm saying? So he got to get extra points for that off the strength. Then you have my boy Chucky. Hey, that's a, Chucky. that's a bar. That's a bar, my nigga. He that, that, kept that, a screwdriver in the man. Come on, stop, that, that, stop it, that, boom. What are you that, doing that, right now? That, they'll they'll catch it later. They'll catch it later. Yeah, man. Appreciate you though, Phil. Far God. Um. Yeah, I was a Chucky nigga, man. Like I said the other day, my nigga was a little timid, but my nigga definitely had heart. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got famous characters, Angelica, who uh, literally had two video games um, in her name, uh, movie franchises. I mean, Rugrats did it all. But the most important thing to me is the era that they did it in, they don't really get credited for because... I think the first movie uh, when I did my research uh, was 1998. And niggas was going to movie theaters and shit like that back then. But we know, you know, generations have changed. You know what I'm saying? Streaming, YouTube is more powerful, Google. Uh, like hey, I said, you got the numbers. Boom, you got the numbers on that first movie that went in theaters in 1998. You got the numbers on that, brother? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I want you to let niggas know that. What you talking about ain't ain't far fetched. The numbers back right. up with I'm the fuck you said. There. I know the yeah, numbers the, are there. Yeah, the numbers is there. I'm a, I'm gonna give the total numbers between between the three. Um, but the first Rugrats movie did a hundred million dollars. God, uh, in 1998. In 1998, right? You understand? So, um, in total, the three uh films did a total of a, roughly. Roughly $216, $217 million. Um, and I think SpongeBob, SpongeBob definitely got the leg up uh, with $280 million in total. But like I stated, to me, they kind of cancel each other out when you just compare the errors. Uh, so the, the, movie, the movie aspect is really a wash, in my opinion. We know technically it's not numerically, but again, you got to weight the errors. And what was going on. So to me, it's for, for Rugrats to only be what? What is that? About 65 million short? For them to only be 65 million short in the era that they movies was coming out as opposed to SpongeBob? I don't know, man. But um, I'm going to save a few of my points. I want to I I get a couple brothers' opinions on this topic. Uh, I know some of these brothers are younger. Some of us are a little bit older. Um, what y'all, what y'all brothers think, man? Do I gotta start calling niggas names out? Niggas, niggas not trying to raise their hand and speak. What are we doing? Uh, right here, right here, right here. I'm in okay, the corner, okay, yeah, right see, there. The yeah. Respectfully, brothers always talk about Rugrats and everything. 
Oh Niggas man! Always forget my girl Susie Motherfucking Carmichael, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Angelica was smart and intellectually and physically bullying the the shits. Susie, Susie gave it, Angelica the, that real nigga, that real nigga friend yeah. that she needed. Like, nah, right. bitch, don't do this. Uh, right. <laughs> and they they didn't do no weird shit that they usually do to black characters. You know what I'm saying? Like. As far as like the housing situation, like she had both parents, both right. professional parents. Yeah, I was just about to say that. That's so crazy that you put that on a cartoon screen that a black girl, a little black girl back in 1996, 97, 98 had both mm-hmm. her parents in the household mm-hmm. and her best friend is this little white girl. Like powerful, mm-hmm. bro. Like on the go back, on the go back. Right. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. That type of shit, you know, my, my family was woke as hell, so my mom was not letting that just slide past subliminally. Like, look, look at both her, look at both her parents. Look at them. Her dad making money. He wearing sweater vests and stuff. Like, ah. And, and niggas oftentimes forget. Uh, yes, yeah, she did. She did, Jap. She celebrated Kwanzaa, too. That's a fact. That's a fact. In that era, that's different. You know what I'm saying? But well, it was woke, woke. Yeah, so you had that situation that I always personally love, and I like the um, just the, the the rollout that they had. Like as a kid, you know what I'm saying? They had the one of the few few shows of that era where they had the orange tape. You know what I'm saying? Like the uh, VHS, right? Yeah, VHS for the people who don't, you know, in the later generations. You know what I'm saying? The VHS. I remember, uh, motherfucking. They had a video game that we got. You know what I'm saying? Rugrats. 16, 16, six, 16, 16 in total. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait, yeah. wait, 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 what? Hold up, hold up. Repeat that, boom, because yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. 16 okay. video games in total? 16 PC, all, all systems in total, all 16 system. video games. Right. Jesus. Yeah. Right. And they just and they're they're represented in uh, other video game properties as far as like uh, Nickelodeon crossover games and stuff like that. Rugrats is powerful. Like I like SpongeBob and SpongeBob is still going to this day. Um, you know what I'm saying? But like vintage Rugrats has a special place in a nigga heart. And you know what I'm saying? They fumbled the bag later, but they still made a good spinoff with All Grown Up where they showed them. Um, I think it was like junior high. Uh, Yo, that was a dope. That was a dope spinoff. Having them older, having them older now. That was I'm fire, bro. SpongeBob probably um the John Cena of this era, bro. Like, oh lord, (laughs) the weakest champion of all time. You say he did. You you saying SpongeBob the Roman Reigns of this era? No, the John Cena of of his era. Like that's just. Him and like everybody basically, else. So basically, you were saying they was winning against competition that was less than. No, wow. I mean you had you had yeah. bigger you had bigger names, but they right. just couldn't. You know, they just wasn't bigger than Cena. You see what I'm saying? I mean, they got but, other cartoons out there, but they're just not as big as SpongeBob. I argue with my kids all the time about Rugrats and SpongeBob. Like this is an ongoing argument in here, and uh, I always tell them Rugrats is better, but. I can't talk to them about that fuck. What is, what is SpongeBob reps at? Any Sponge? <sighs> right, right. Because I felt like Rugrats was so out in the open with their topics, even yeah. with even with knowing that it was a cartoon. The topics were so adult, front childish. Door. Yeah, front door. The, like I told if, you, if, if, right. It was very front door, Cal. It was very front door. It wasn't no. Subliminal catch the catch you you'll catch it later on cam. It wasn't no catch it later on cam. Like, the bar. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. Uh, right. Grand, grandpa was in there watching horny people fucking movies yeah. while you're supposed to be watching the kids. Like when you go back as an adult and watch Rugrats, it was like they they made a great show for us, but they were also like they knew people's parents were gonna be watching or like babysitters, so they sprinkle little funny stuff in there. Um I don't know. SpongeBob is hilarious, but again, like, there's not really a uh, like some shit that you could connect to besides it just being funny. If I remember correctly, as a kid, it was like you just turn this on. This is dumb. Very silly. Very silly. Yeah. Yeah. Like I told Boom, I think the the 
the better comparison would be in that generation would probably be Rugrats and Muffet Babies. Like, I think those two would be like a right, good right. versus <clears throat> instead of trying to, because you're not going to win that argument with this this new generation, like with fucking, you know what I'm saying? SpongeBob. Like, you, you can't win that at all. I don't especially, think you can win that. Especially because Cal said it, it's, still, it's still going on right now. <laughs> it's still, he's still powerful, man. That little nigga. Right, he's still, right. He still got I memes. I seen my first shit. episode right. of SpongeBob in jail, bro, to be honest, which I never watched this shit, but the shit just came on TV, so I was like, what the fuck is this? I was, like, I was okay. at my parents' crib I said, when I saw okay. the first SpongeBob episode. So I remember SpongeBob actually hitting the hitting the airways and it was a mm-hmm. new thing and it and it look when it, it hit it hit like crack now i ain't gonna hold you when that spongebob hit it hit like crack because that shit was like oh this shit is on every friday every saturday morning oh no this shit is lit lit then they started expanding the uh days to it like no nah, we got spongebob on wednesdays and fridays and then they started we got we got new episodes on Mondays, Wednesdays. <laughs> Fridays. Now we got SpongeBob every day. To, like I remember when Nickelodeon was making it a thing. Like, nah, we got we got SpongeBob every day on this little specific lineup. You know how the Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon used to have a little prime time after late afternoon nighttime lineup, right? So it'll probably start at like six and go all the way to like eight. But them are thirty minute shows, right? So you get like six, seven shows at a time. That was that was a powerful era. Yeah. Rugrats dominated that era, and then SpongeBob cut the back end of that, and then started getting into that that mainstream. Like, all right, no, we all the kids are fucking with SpongeBob. We're gonna push SpongeBob to the forefront, and that's gonna be our <laughs> flagship show. We're gonna put all our was, was they like, airing at the same time? Was they ever, like? Oh, that, I think that I think that I think, was that was that brother Maine trying to trying to get some input. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Maine. Yes, sir. What Spon- nah, what was SpongeBob's main competition though? <laughs> None. <laughs> I feel like Doug. I feel like in the animated in the animated, like, in the animated Doug, era. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I tell, tell you, I mean, like, tell you no. Really the, an- the, the 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 shows that SpongeBob had the most comp with were the anime shows that were airing on ABC. During Saturday mornings, the Yu Gi Oh's, the Pokemon's, mm. those type of shows were his comp. But when you're the when you're the flagship on the biggest network, they ain't no comp, bro. They ain't re- like to your I'm at, to your question. No, no, there was no comp, but there I was feel- competition. But he's on the biggest. It's like it's like a. I hate to bring it back better up, but it's like being on URL and a nigga being on wrestling. bullpen or wrestling. Like it's a nigga being on WWF and another nigga being on backyard wrestling league. Like it's it's no comparison. The the so, eyes, the amount of people you gonna see, the 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 goodwill that's been built up within this network. Parents feel comfortable putting the network on Nickelodeon and letting their child watch it. Because so SpongeBob was Tayron. I grew up on that. Oh, that was not SpongeBob. Oh man, SpongeBob oh, is Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, because this 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 sounds very one sided. I, I I expected, I expected, I expected a little bit more comp to this, right? I ex- yeah, I, mean, I, 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 could, I, could, that's, that's I don't have I any. I don't have any facts. Like I could mic up. I could. I, I mean, just give, a, I mean you, you just give your. I mean, you just give your opinion. I mean, you, well, yeah, the, your well, opinion. when we when we talk about like. The thing is, if we talk about, yo, right now, if we were to say, what's the face of Nickelodeon right now, what are we going to say? I mean, obviously, it's Nickelodeon is Spongebob. Spongebob. Spongebob came out in 2001. Mm. And he was the face ever since. Like, like, like if, if that's the, we can't really say much. That post-Doug that. era. That post-Doug really? and, like, yeah, you know, like, like, Ren and like, Skippy and shit era, energy. yeah. It yeah, has yeah. longevity. Mm-hmm. No, no. I mean, yes, it did start in '99, but I, uh, Kujo, but 2001, I feel like is when it kicked off. So I'm not counting '99. Mm. I'm not. I can't I, count. I, I, I like. It's I like how it is like that. Oh, <laughs> one. Say fairly odd. Fairly odd parents. Fairly odd parents was. It was a dope show, but when he he said he said, "What would you call the face of Nickelodeon at that time?" Hell yeah, but definitely no. SpongeBob. <laughs> But bro, bro, I'm talking. Also, talk about right now, though. Like right now, like as we as we're potting live. Is we potting? You already know what it is. Discord, mm. tap in. While we potting right now, 
Mm-hmm. SpongeBob is the face right That's now. That nigga, but we're discussing. Man. He right now. Nigga. That's what I'm talking about. Like, if it, so if he that. has been the nigga since mm-hmm. 2001 to 2022, like, what? How many what championships he, he, he got? Really say much. You say what? How many championships he got? He got 16 <laughs> times, bro. That's, that's Ric Flair. <laughs> that's he Ric Flair, hey, nigga. Hey, SpongeBob definitely got the Ric Flair vibe. That's Ric Flair. SpongeBob, Ric Flair, low key. Yeah, hey, he got the Undertaker. It, it. Yeah, man. But, 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 but like, but I'm gonna be, I'm a, I'm an honest nigga. You, you know, I never cap. SpongeBob mm-hmm. is Ric Flair, as in right now that nigga is washed. Yep. Mm. Washed. Damn. SpongeBob mm. is washed right now. Even though he's a face, I, I he's washed. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna like, say, I'm gonna say this, and it's kind of uh, piggy, this kind of piggybacking off what Heidi oh, said, and and. Thank God I have kids because I can kind of see what's going on. Mm-hmm. I agree completely with hiatus. SpongeBob definitely is the face, but being the face right now don't really say much, in my opinion. Because, and I, now I will give him from 2001 to, I'm going to give him 15, 16 years solidly Damn. being the face, the which is retarded. Which is, is still that just the face of cartoons, period? Like, or just no, the face of Nickelodeon? No. I think he's not, period. No, hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. No, no, no. My bad, no, my, bad. Bad. my bad, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead, Luigi. Go ahead. I just want to know. So, who is the face of cartoons? Like, like fuck Nickelodeon. We just talking about a network. Like, Scooby-Doo. outside or of Mickey. Nickelodeon, I still feel like SpongeBob, as far as cartoons, he's that fucking nigga, man. Like, no, because who well, else? We have these who else y'all got? When we have these conversations, when we have these conversations, niggas love to just leave anime out of this shit. And y'all niggas piss me off with that shit. That mm. nigga Pikachu is mm. got to these niggas. Oh, and we are not now? doing that. Come on, man. Oh, nigga, are you crazy? Bro, I'll, if I go in the store, Cal, I'm going to see more sports by merch than I'm going to see Pikachu. That's just a fact. I don't know I'm, about that. I'm going to uh, see that. Cal, I, 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 I kind of agree. You crazy? I, are you, I, you I, crazy? I man, they have SpongeBob in Pants. everything, son. I, like, every fucking kid toy has got a SpongeBob something that goes with it, son. Like this dude on everything, facts. fam. Like, come on, man. Yeah, Pikachu, he he me, now, but me, he ain't. Uh, you want to take wrong. this walk with me, Cal? What the fuck? If you tell, ever let me. Walk, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm a fucking Bob on a lot of merch. He's on a lot of merch. I'm trying to do that. That 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 property. I'm telling y'all mm-hmm. that Pokemon property as a whole is easily one of the highest grossing <laughs> IPs. Ever, ever talking about that's not that's not our question though, Cal. We're asking who's I mean, the I mean, face of cartoons uh, at the hold on, point. Hold on, hold on, yes. hold on, everybody. To to, to kind of add to what Cal is saying, I'm pretty sure. I see my brother Dapo uh, did some research earlier with the uh, box office numbers and how they would translate today. So uh, mm-hmm. hopefully he's willing to do some more research. But I'm pretty sure if you look up merch sales. Between the two, Between it's not gonna. It's not. It's, it's not, not gonna be close. close. Po- po- Pokemon. Close. Hold on. Pokemon is going to be leaps and bounds above SpongeBob. Right. That's just. Oh, what I, that's okay. just my guess. Bro. That's. Dude, you got oh, a, that's you got not. Uh, you got I mean, but how much? Hold on. Let me ask. You, how much Pokemon yeah. shit do you see, bro? Like, like I mean, far as outside, outside of the, the, outside of the cards, outside of the cards. But I feel like the cards, add, I'm talking about far as ultimate, Pokemon. Okay, hold on, hold on, yo, 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 wait, yo. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We we yeah, got the me. numbers, and as I said, there it goes. Total revenue for Pokemon is one hundred eighteen and a half billion dollars. Next, Christ. next in line, Hello Kitty. We don't mm-hmm. need to. We don't need the rest hold of these numbers. What's that? Oh, hold what's on, that? Hold on, that's hold on, not hold on, nothing hold on. to. Okay. One hundred eighteen and a half billion for Pokemon. Far and away, number one. Second bro, place. Video hello. games cost money, so bro, it makes that, sense. The, those numbers with the Pokemon shit doesn't like that has nothing to do with the question we ask. Like when you say who's the face of cartoons right now, bro. Nobody's I'm gonna run on, to I, no, 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 I'm Pikachu on merch. or fucking. I was just speaking yeah. on the merch. I, I, because, boo, I say merch because I can go to Walmart right now, bro. I'm going to see some fucking 
SpongeBob gonna see, shit in Walmart. Too, I won't see as much fucking Pokemon shit in Walmart as I'm going to see SpongeBob. You can't tell me I that, mean, bro. But you you cannot go see. No one can tell me that, bro. The, I just don't think you know what the Pokemon look like right now. Yeah, facts. You don't know I what mean, you're I mean, for. I mean, Lucci again. I, because it's there, bro. Trust I Lucci. I have a Lucci, six-year-old yeah, son, Lucci, bro. Lucci, so, so, Lucci is the I, master. Master Lucci is good. <laughs> hey, for y'all listening, for those listening, my brother Louisiana Lucci is the master of opinion. Um, again, however, when you look at the numbers, the actual I see factual, the numbers. I see the numbers. SpongeBob is at thirteen billion. That is one hundred and three billion short of Pokemon. So, but SpongeBob is an anime. Or, I mean, Sp- Pokemon is hey, an anime, hey, bro. though, right? Hey, bro, don't say that. Hey, 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 is SpongeBob like an that. anime? So that's like different. That, like, Why are you saying it like on. that, though? Hold on. Phil, let me answer this question. Hold on, Phil. Hold on. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. an anime. All mm-hmm. anime means is a yes, Japanese made, yeah, I know cartoon. What you mean. That's mm-hmm. it. So when you look at the shits, I'm saying he's the face of cartoons still. Um, somebody, somebody in the chat said it, and I looked down and missed it. But a brother said Goku. No, when you look at these numbers, this nigga has TV shit that's still ongoing to this fucking day, Pu- like publicly released in theater movies, spinoff movies, video mm. games. The nigga shut down the the nigga shut down. I think it was 2015 with Pokemon Go. Niggas was getting hit by fucking cars. Trying to catch virtual they Pokemon. They never ran a station for 15 not, years, though, bro. Nah, what was, no, they never was, was the number one though, niggas the, for 15 years, bro. I understand. The Pokemon that. older than that. Pokemon like 30, 40 years old. Yeah, it they is. They never ran a it station. Is. It's it's 15. Right? They never held it's it down like SpongeBob right? held it down, like bro. Like, come on, what's the, what, what network did Pokemon hold down for I the was amount Pokemon of years so that much, SpongeBob I actually had went held to it down a Pokemon from. match. I actually went to and a I Pokemon, Pokemon. match one time. L- low key, I-, I don't agree with, with Luchy, a dick and everything. Just, cause what, what, just, what he just said is facts. Like, what network did Pokemon hold down? That's None, bro. None. Like, come on. I don't, how the fuck I don't think we. I don't think we. I don't think we. I don't think. I don't think we're disputing that. SpongeBob has a reign on Nickelodeon that is almost unmatched. Um, you're number one on the that, number one that's cartoon. Not fair, bro. Like, you're it, comparing but... it to to another country. We don't know what they did in Japan. <laughs> to, like, that's, that's, why, that's why it's an unfair SpongeBob comparison, bro. Not that's I, why that's I, not why we're changing the argument. Go ahead. Not, hold on, about, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I know yeah. what they were doing because I. When I like something or whatever, I research it to find my to show myself approved. Shout out to my squares up there. The Pokemon held down Shonen Jump. So in Japan, as we like as we have over here, you know, you have like DC Comics. Marvel no, 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 no Comics, but we talking um, about here. We talking about America, though. Why? He said worldwide. World exactly. When did we wait? World. So the, where did the, when did the conversation? Yeah, that's it. When we, we, yeah, when we when we moved the goalposts. Like, I didn't listen like to Lucci. Huh? Lucci, Lucci yeah. did that. We're, let's talk about world. He said Lucci. Lucci said, "Who is the face of cartoons?" I don't think he said and anything then, about worldwide at all. The face right. of cartoons. Said, Why would I say it's Lucci. not worldwide? Yeah, but we never, we never, we never said that, we never, That's my point. Well, we never yeah, said that. Yeah, yeah, we, well, 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 we never. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We never cartoon pre- in the world. What was yeah, that? We, we never said we, that. We we never prefaced the conversation to a country, so we just spoke on cartoons. So I don't right. see, I don't see why we have to limit it to the United States. The United okay. States isn't the, the United States isn't the only country watching cartoons. One million that's percent. That. But then that this was is a the, the that wrong that. conversation to have. Like, if we're talking about, if the original conversation was Spongebob versus Rugrats, if we're making it world ride... Well, this is just some side shit that these niggas, you know, the Pokemon, we kind of went left here with this Pokemon shit. The conversation, and the conversation, (laughs) yeah, 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 we we go left here, we we go left a lot, so the the convo really is Rugrats and Spongebob, which is going to be primarily a United States-based thing. Um, Absolutely. So let's kind of let's kind of reel it back into that. We got a yeah. lot of good shit. We got a lot of good shit on tap for y'all tonight. So um, I we wanted to save see... this for another another episode. For sure, for sure, for sure. We're not gonna spend the block on it. We're gonna spend the block on it. And um, 
hopefully we have some more represent, representation for SpongeBob because I, I didn't really predict it being yeah, that yeah. one sided. Um, but it sounded like most brothers is actually, uh, you know what I'm saying, siding with Rugrats um, yeah. out, outside of uh, Cujo. Uh, good brother Cujo is working right now, not really able to mic up. So he definitely is a representative for SpongeBob. Uh, and yeah, like we yeah. stated on a, on another show, we'll probably, uh, you know what I'm saying, allow him to be able to get his bars off and allow hiatus to get his research in order and things of that nature. But until then, we're going to go ahead and keep it pushing, keep it moving. Until then, Rugrats is the go. Uh, what you talk about? <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> so let's keep it moving, man. My good brother Thanos, uh, he was getting his thing, getting his house in order, getting things, getting things together. However, my brother Thanos, he does have a random fact of importance for us <laughs> listening. For those who are going to be viewing, a random fact. I have no fucking idea what this fact is. <laughs> but, but the rollout, I'm going to make sure it's powerful. It is mm -hmm. a fact. Mm -hmm. The good brother's going to present a fact. That means you can Google this shit. Right. Right. Well, shout out, shout out, Boom, for the rollout, man. This is a new segment that we're trying out called Random Facts. We're just going to rotate this out with different hosts or whoever's a part of the pod family. You know what I'm saying? You, it's basically, you know, anything less than like four or five minutes, you give a random fact. It could be hip hop related. It could be science related. It could be black history, sports related, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So tonight, uh, the random fact I chose, bro, uh, is about my boy 50 Cent. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to make this as in-depth and quick as possible. And I, right. I jotted this down. Do I know where you're going with this? Do I know where you're going with this? No, 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 no. It has oh, nothing oh. to do with power. Lucci has nothing to be afraid of. Calm down. Relax. I'm saying I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm, I'm just going to just read off what I jotted down. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, he's way more known as a TV producer than anything. But in the early 2000s, Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. 50 Cent, was one of the most successful rappers on the planet. His first album on Columbia was Shelves. His second album, which was his debut on Shady Interscope, was out of here. Y'all remember the rollout. 10 million sold. Uh, got, shot, got shot in the face and the chest nine times. Super powerful rollout. 10 million. Platinum. G-Unit album was platinum. Diamond. Young Buck album Diamond. was platinum. Diamond. 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 Oh. Well, that, that is a diamond Christ. album. Yeah, 10, 10 right. million is diamond. Right. Lloyd Banks album, Platinum. The Game album, which he actually co-wrote and wrote a lot of the hooks on. A lot of people forget to mention that. Was Platinum. 50 Cent's go third it, album, Massacre. Out of control. Right. Before Wayne started popping off with all the features, 50 Cent was doing that first. He was on everybody's song, everybody's remix. He had a movie out. You may have seen it. You may have not. You may have seen it late night on MTV, VH1. Get Rich or Die Trying, semi-autobiography, biopic. He's cooking at yo, this we, point, right? Yo, we this gotta is stop the, this nigga. What you mean we? Yeah. <laughs> this is the part that we're gonna start cooking on, man. This is the part we're gonna get into this random fact that a lot of people forget, and we're gonna dissect a little bit. I had a copy of this issue of Double XL. I'm about to post it in the Discord chat so y'all can see it. Y'all see the whole G-Unit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see G-Unit, um, you know, Young Buck, see my boy spider Loke in the corner, you see Olivia, in the corner to the far left, this was a move that 50 pulled in 2005. He pulled a move that shocked the whole entire hip hop industry. He simultaneously signed MOP, Mob Deep, and Mace, right? I don't know why he chose all three acts that started with the letter M. I don't know, but that's what he did. MOP, Mob Deep, and Mace. We're going to dissect this real quick. For those of y'all that don't know MOP out of Brownsville, Brooklyn, they are underground East Coast slash backpack mainstays, you know, known for the grimy, hardcore hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I believe their biggest single up to that point was Annie Up and the Annie Up remix, right? But they mostly was just very, very underground. They never was gold or platinum artists like that. Mob Deep, of course, rest in peace, Prodigy Legends. They, their resume is filled with gold and platinum albums. You know what I'm saying? Mace, of course, we remember, ran things with Diddy in the late 90s, brought in the Yo, whole shiny uh, suit era, right? Left the game to go be a pastor. He said he felt a calling from God, left bad boy behind. You know what I'm saying? Tucked it in his chain, traded it for a crucifix, went and started a church, right? Out in Cali. Now, he signs Mob Deep, MOP, and Mace. All of this sounded good on paper, but this is not how it turned out to be. MOP recorded a couple songs, right? They basically felt a backlash from their hardcore fans. Fans started dissing them like you sold out. 
you're on there with G Unit, you're trying to go platinum, you're trying to make radio hit. They barely recorded like two or three songs for a soundtrack. Some stuff got shelved. They left. They felt the heat so bad from their fans that they left and went and in, went independent, right? My boy Havoc from Mob Deep, he did some now he, you know, he had his hands in the mix, you know, because he he's known for the production. He he produced some tracks for G Unit, Tony Yayo, Lloyd Banks solo album, you know what I'm saying? The Mob Deep album, which was actually a dope album, right? Blood Money. Uh, really undersold, right? It sold about 257,000 copies in the U.S., which was very weak by both G-Unit and Mob Deep Sanders. Remember, I just listed a bunch of platinum albums that 50 Cent was releasing, so that's very, very, like, weak in comparison, right? So they eventually left to become independent. M.O.P. left to become independent. Now, this is interesting. Your boy Mace, y'all remember the rollout, man. He let 50 take him shopping on the Window Shopper video, right? Dope video, <laughs> dope song, you know what I'm saying? My man Mace brought back the Murder Mace persona. For those of y'all that don't know, you hip hop historians out there, you young, you youngins that haven't done your research. My boy Mace used to run around with Big L, Cameron, Bloodshed, Herb McGruff. They was part of a group called Children of the Corn. He had a persona back in the day called Murder Mace. He was called a sellout when he went to Diddy because he he traded in the murder stuff for the shiny suits. Right, left leaves to become a pastor, gets signed to G Unit. Right, comes back as Murder Mace on G Unit. He comes out with a mixtape. <laughs> With DJ Who Kid called Crucified for the Hood as Murder Mace. The mixtape doesn't do anything, right? Hey, then yep. Mace goes on and makes a public announcement that he feels called by God again. And he says his G Unit association affected his relationship with God. So he trades in his G Unit <laughs> chain for a crucifix oh, again, goes right it's back to asking bad. people for their tithe money to pay for the, you know, the church <laughs> air conditioning and all of that. You know what I'm saying? This is what's funny about real. my man Mace. Since 2005, my man Mace has popped up at least three times with that same murder Mace persona. So the brother just sounds like a very confused individual. But that is your random fact. This was supposed to be a big deal, 50 Cent signing three powerful acts, and they all flopped on G-Unit. That is the random fact for the week, man. Back to you, Boom. And he killed yeah, Prodigy. Man. Shout out, shout out to my, shout out, shout out to my brother Thanos, man, and shout out to the random fact of the week. This is still is he pod in episode sixteen. The date is July thirteenth, two thousand and twenty-two. We're gonna keep the show rolling. That, that, that brother be backsliding. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out, shout out, Fifty Cent, man. <laughs> that was a quick, quick summary roundup of information. Uh, if that had a word, right? Surrounding Curtis Jackson, so salute to that man. Salute to everything that he got going on right right now. Demanding elevated in television, became one of them niggas behind the scenes. And uh, salute to him, man. We're gonna keep the show rolling. Um, we actually had to, you know, divert from the original schedule programming to make sure we get this topic in here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that we do it justice um, surrounding wrestling. Most of us, you know what I'm saying, wrestling fanatics grew up watching wrestling as kids. Wrestling is very near and dear to a lot of our hearts. Brothers get passionate. I'm going to save. I'm going to save the shit that's going to have, you know what I'm saying, the discussion and an uproar for some <laughs> for some more calm you know calmer calmer talk um still wrestling but we're gonna talk about the best wrestling entrances first and i'm actually i'm actually lead this off here um and this may not be the best uh, however i always said that this is the most underappreciated uh wrestling entrance I've actually played this shit in my car multiple times. It's real player. Well, uh, well, it's the big show. Hey, uh, hey, <laughs> I heard it in the strip club. Hey, hey, boom. I heard hey, it in the strip club. Man, boom. I said, what the fuck these white girls do? Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Let me let me make it. Let me let me say something before you play this. Okay. Uh, we here at. We here at the Is We Podden podcast do not own the rights or likenesses of the songs nor the artists of the music that is about to be played. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's not going to be played for, for, for a long length of time. It's all educational. This is educational it's, it's purpose. Educational purposes for sure. Um, 
man, let's hey man, fuck it, man. Like I said, this shit for real players, real G's, niggas that had hoes, you know what I'm saying? Just some shit you cut on in the whip, you know what I mean? Let's get into it, man. He's like a cow. No, it's <laughs> It's real gangsta Man, shit right now. Oh, it's it. I feel fire, though. Let's go. Look, 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 hey. look, you can really flow on that, like, hey. crazy on that, though. Nigga fuck around, bust a freestyle to that bitch. Right. Hey, stop okay. playing. Shout out to Gold Dust, man. Shout out to the Rhodes family, one of the most influential families, arguably the most influential family in wrestling history. If you know, you know Cody Rhodes. We ain't got to get you into know, it, man. Big Texas. You know, you know, man. So big I could have played, right, I could have played some other joints, but I wanted to give my man Gold Dust, you know what I'm saying, his proper just do a, a lot of, I can get into the story about my man. He got hated on. Niggas didn't really understand the image and what he was doing, but there was a lot of questions going on, but just know he had that bitch beside him, though. Don't get it fucked up, though. It wasn't no... Hey, man. <laughs> hey, if you right. know, you know, man. So, <laughs> yeah, you hear me, Thanos? Like, niggas was having right. questions, but he had the little right. thing what he knows. Yeah. You feel me? So, he was good. Yeah. <laughs> so, anybody else want to, um, you know what I'm saying, nominate what they feel is the best or one of the best you know what I'm saying? Entrances. You ain't yeah. got to play the music mm. or anything like that, but yeah, yeah mm. let's get into it. Uh, the, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know why, man, but ever since I've been tapped in with the pod, man, I've been appreciating the cringe a lot more. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, uh, this theme entrance is definitely not one of the best, but once mm. I, when I hear this shit, bro, the cringe immediately, just just the like memes, just what this nigga does, just the pauses this nigga has when he's when he promos. You already know who it is, man. Uh, but salute to Boom. That's definitely definitely a good theme entry for Goldust. But mm. uh, I tap. I want to tap in with the cringe real quick. We here. <laughs> uh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Classic. No. Did he do this? He did this. This shit was hard. That's hilarious. Hey man, shout out, shout out the boy Kurt Angle. Nigga broke his neck about eleven hundred times. Eleven hundred. 80 million right. Oh, like right what I, uh, I'm hey look I'm a, I'm, i got one go ahead. that brother hold up he won the olympic gold medal with a broken neck fact. let that sink in that's a fact damn i'm now, uh, look, uh go ahead, I, I, I look y'all i i look i just want to switch it up a little bit i'm gonna stop it i'm gonna stop it i'm give it, i'm gonna give it a little i'm gonna give it a few seconds to rock i'm gonna let the beat drop but y'all already know what this is. And to Brother Hiatus Point, when you hear this, when you heard this record, come on, he usually had to already roll out knowing that, all right, he about, to, he about to hit the stage, right? But the record was so dope, it's like, okay, I, I let, I let, we can let you get this off, right? Okay, check this out, man. Y'all already know what this is. Time to play the game. Bruh, motorhead, that has Time to play the game. It's all about the game, and I you play it. All about your truth, and if you can take it, all about your death, and if you can play it, right, it's all about the <laughs> Yeah, yo, that's what it is. Nah, that's that's one of the all time grades. I uh, I'm not a wrestling nigga. Nope. Let me preface this again. 
I I'm am. not a wrestling nigga. I am. <laughs> but I'm but I'ma be honest. I'ma be honest. This is how I feel about the rest of you niggas. You see what oh, I'm saying? God. Hold on, hold on. We we gonna we're gonna cut this. We're gonna cut. Hey, 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 snip this part, Lucy. This is how I feel about the rest of you niggas podding, talking, miking up. You see what I'm saying? When compared to us, what we doing. And the future that I feel for you niggas when it comes to actually standing the test of time compared to what we got over here at Is We Pod and Podcast, you heard me? This is what it is. That's how I feel about you niggas. No chance. No chance. So that's what you got. Hey, that was fire. It's Vince, oh. Vince McMahon, fool. Vince McMahon. Yes, Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah. That's just what you got. And that's we pardon. Is we pardon. You pussy niggas got right. no motherfucking chance, nigga. We here, right. nigga. It's me. You see what I'm saying? My nigga Ty, Lucci, Boom, Kujo, bunch of niggas. Shit sound like the Justice League, nigga. Pussy niggas got no chance, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Talk about it. Yeah, nigga. Let's so fucking go, man. What? Nigga? Hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 cut this part too, Lucci. You can also do this. <laughs> Suck it. You can also do this. Suck it. Okay. Is that where you go at? The original? That better be the original too. The bad the original that ain't it, Jeb. You think that you're better? Well, you better get ready. To the masters, break it down. They generate into something more. We just got tired of doing what you told us to do. That's a break, boy. Yeah, that's a break, little man. Break it down. Ooh, go crazy. That was cute. I got a, I got a, I got a, go crazy, that bro. That's, that's the walk, that's the walk down the aisle oh. right there. Yeah, uh, all right, what's going on? Up. Play with me, here. get dark up here for you, goods. It get dark as hell up for you. Don't play with me, put your hands up, stop talking through my fucking round, nigga. I'm not, not, no, but I'm just quoting what he said. I'm just saying. <laughs> that shit was fire to me when he said that shit. Like, nigga, I'll beat you the fuck up here. Get dark you up here. Stop talking through my fucking round, nigga. And then they start holding them back. Right. Really beat you the fuck up in here. And then you start laughing like you think this shit is sweet. All right. All right. Then, then y'all chill. Y'all chill. See, now now, now you put me in the top of my business where I got to control my niggas from trying to put their hands on because you felt like this shit is sweet for you. And I told you to. Beat you the fuck up right here. Man, Stop. that nigga is Stop. easy with the Stop. hold me back game. Right. With the hold me, like, mm, where was... I got my Robbie. <laughs> easy with the hold me back game. What's up? Hold what up, let got? me play this. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna hold Somebody you. Somebody dropped a Booker T picture, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. Drop the Booker T picture, somebody. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. Somebody drop the book of tea picture. What you got, man? You're shit, Bobby. Damn. Where's the book of tea picture, man? Big boy. Nah. Come on, man. You know we get flagged for this shit. You know we go. They going to flag us for that one right there. Yeah, they going to flag us for that one. Yeah, they go. They go get us a body. Yeah, gotta flag with them. Yeah, you gotta cut. Them. <laughs> I'm I'm yeah, you gotta. Hey, look, uh, Lucha, let that play for like 15 seconds. Let yeah, that play we'll for like 15 that seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? I'm a. Uh, I got what one. You got that, huh? 
I'm actually right. I'm actually I'm old enough to remember when uh whenever they they played this the uh -oh. cameraman would do close ups on little kids in the mm -hmm. audience and they would be crying, man. Okay. Oh no. Oh. God. Jesus. Not another one. Oh my god. So many bodies in the yard. Right. Somebody please come clean this up. Stop it. They're Jimmy's nothing alive. fancy, man. But them little kids was scared to death, boy. Between that, how could you, how could you not? The nigga <laughs> walk out on stage and rolling his eyes back, bro. What the right. fuck? I'm supposed to think about this nigga here. He different. He's different. Hold Everybody on, hold on. Talk 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 like between him and Rick Flair, interest, bro. I don't know which one is the hashtag Geo. Hashtag Geo. Yo, he did the shit for like 10, 15 I seconds at a time. Like, no, the nigga eyes is white. Like, I'm scared. I mean, Gio, 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 that's it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The glass breaking is over. I got I got yeah, one last one. I got one last one. I'm kind of disappointed in niggas for not playing this because this hit for me. You know what I'm saying? I know very few of these intro songs by heart. And I think this is one of them. I got to just make sure they'll link correct. You know what I'm saying? So if you yeah. smell what the rock is cooking. Middle 10. The Rock entrance, says. the entrance, look, 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 the rock, look, the entrance, out, like, coming out the, out the shit, right? The rock he, says. He's standing up, looks over to this middle side, he throw his hands up, he's coming over to this side, throw his hands up, he's coming to the middle, throw his hands up, he, the middle, his hands up. <laughs> he get niggas the eye bro, uh, and he's like, look, it's a whole movie when he come out, right. it it's cool. a whole movie, dog. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was when the rock come out to that right there. Nah, it was cool. Nah, it was cool. Bro. Bro. It was cool. Right. Was the, the, the beat and all son. that. It was the oh, ambiance behind the beat. Yeah. The beat with ass, like, son. Like, that beat with ass just now, man. Yo, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah. That beat was ass. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, man. That was an ass beat. Nigga, son. When he, when white he boys had better on, beat than him, bro. Come on, man. Anybody you got any? wild? Anybody got any? I got, I got one. I got one. I got one. Bro. Entertainment. What? Stop uh, playing with you. I got. I got one. I'm, I guess I'll be the last one. Boom. You better move on to another topic, huh? That shit was funny. For sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Facts, my, my, mine, we crazy. I'm gonna say this one right here, like you know, when most rappers, uh, I guess when you make it, you can go to arena and you know, 
you could put on the song in the whole arena, sing the song without you having a beat and shit on. So, uh, you know, my homie did it this uh, what last year, man, and I got to salute him, bro, because he's still in this shit or whatever. What you got going on in your head, bro? What you Chris Jericho, man. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> That's Chris Jericho walking out there, bro. It's definitely for you, Dampo. Everyone I look is screaming away. Go shit. Yeah. Oof. Well, Y'all better harmonize. <laughs> right, Phil. They sound like fam you, nigga. Yeah. I've never heard that before in my <laughs> life in, in a WWE, <laughs> bro. Uh, in wrestling itself, man. Like that shit, that was just <laughs> like, come. That was his interest song. They sung it. They okay. sung it. his interest word. song. Word for word, right. son. They sung it a cappella. Yeah, yeah that was, son. That was that powerful. Shit fire, that was son. That was fucked me up, yeah. son. That was different, son. They harmonized and everything. Yeah, I'm like, nah, son. y'all really. But, y'all but really. That's, <laughs> that's hey, every time you go to the ring, literally dude. Only a few, it's literally only a few music artists in the world that could do that. To where they start the Man. song and they cut it off. And then the crowd just sings this, yeah, the song. Mm. Like, no, that's that's different. That's, that's different. Yeah. Out shout out, shout out, Jericho, one of the most underappreciated uh, yeah. superstars in wrestling history. I got him as one of my goats for show. Mm. Um, appreciate y'all, brothers, man, and y'all contribution. We're gonna go ahead and keep it moving, man. Let's go to the next topic, and this is actually gonna be led by my brother Lucci. I'm gonna actually let him. Uh, introduce oh. the topic. Uh, <laughs> Luch, talk to us, man. All right, I had came up with a topic. Um, I was sitting here thinking one time, man, and thinking about uh, one a fucked up night I had with a female, and I just wanted to hear what brothers got to say. Now nah, we ain't gonna put the tin for a head on that, bro. I just wanted to hear what's one of your crazy experiences that you had with a female. Could have been on a date. It could have been after. It could, you know. Just, just one of the crazy ex- nights you had with a female. Y'all want me to start it off? No, I mean, brother Cal, brother should definitely start this off. <laughs> 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 my girl's right here, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! He should definitely start well, this. Yeah, it's crazy when I spend money, don't get that. <laughs> 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 So I got, I got, I got oh, two. Shit. One is, one is extremely quick. Um, like the story is extremely quick. Um, so let me just do the quick one first to get it out the way. Pause if necessary. Um, so there was this joint, you know what I'm saying, in college or whatever. And I was like, whoop de whoop, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna just slide over here, give shutter the whoop wop the bam, and be out. You know what I'm saying? So I went over there and we, ah, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Talking back and forth, joking back and forth, everything else like that. Night's going dope. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, cool, cool. Woo, my plan is underway. Ugh, my evil plan. That's what I thought, my nigga. <clears throat> so as soon as we start getting comfortable, comfortable, and girl, chill. That, you chill. Shut up, man. You shut up. I don't know that. Fed, it sounds like a fucking Fed is knocking at the door. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? Like, on the door, like, just open hand. It doesn't sound like a bang, like a hard, like, you see, like a fist bang. It sounds like a nigga's slapping the door. And we're in the room. You see what I'm saying? 
So I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? And she was like, I don't, I don't know, man. Fuck that shit. That's probably one of my roommates. Da 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 da. Because she had, I think she had like two roommates at the time, staying in different rooms, a uh, little apartment set up. Uh, shout out, shout out. If y'all listen to this, and your fam, you attendees or alumni and shit like that, we were in phase. You see what I'm saying? So like phase is like a small apartment setting. So I'm like, all right, boom. She's, I'm, I'm ignoring it. So we get back to it. Yeah, anyway, whoop de whoop. Let's get Netflix on this small ass TV you got. Try to turn it on. Again. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, nah, let's go, go check that shit. Like, whoop de whoop. She was like, all right, hold on. Give me a second. She leaves the room. The bedroom door is still open. She opens up the door. And I hear it before I see it. I hear, the fuck you doing? You can't answer your phone no more? What you talking about? I'm like, oh. Oh, okay. The fuck you mean you can't? He comes to the room. You better not have no nigga in here. Me, it's me. I'm niggas. (laughs) In here, for some reason. He comes in. Yo, what the fuck is good, bro? Hey, man, look. I don't know what's supposed to be happening between y'all two, but she said she was single. You see what I'm saying? He said, nah, 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 fuck all that. He proceeds to do that reaching motion. I'm like, bro, I'm finna leave right now. You ain't gotta do all that. Boom, I get up, pimp away from bro. I leave. I escape with my life. That's one. That was insane. Nigga could have really sent me, sent me somewhere. You see what I'm saying? He could have sent me somewhere. Mm-hmm. Number two, he was all vulnerable. Mm-hmm. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, boy, I was out of there, super duper out of there. Um, ah, I told niggas this story. It's not recorded. I don't give a fuck because I don't give a fuck. I'm me. I'm the worst nigga out. No, 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 no. Hold that. Hold that. No, hold that. No, no. no. Miss Cal- that's, 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 yeah, yeah, that's 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 not nah, that's paid content. No, we can't give him that. Can't give him that. Ah, ah. Can't okay, give him okay, that. Okay. I'm mature. I'm mature. Just the just the cliff notes of it. That was how I learned at an early age. Um, I did not prefer fellatio from white women. Um, like that's how bad that one situation was. Um, it was really it was really bad. It was, okay. it was really bad. This so I'm going to just let that shit go. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I guess since I introduced the topic, I'll go, man. Let me get this little shit out. Um, I think this is this is high school. I think my my junior year, I was uh some little chick. You know, I know her. She just moved from New Orleans, came to the hood. She just moved to New Orleans to the country. So uh, she used to always give, write me a letter. Like at seven period and tell me, you know, come by a house and shit, come by a house. I never went. And, you know, the one time I did go, I'm actually like, how the fuck I'm going to get in there, bro? Like, she was like, you come through the window. So I went over there, got through the window the first time, bang, did it again, did it again. It's been like, like, maybe like eight, ten times, probably about ten times I did it. Uh, this, this last time, well, the last time before I got caught, uh, I told myself, I said, man, I got to stop this shit, man, because, you know, it came to a point when we in there and sometimes the light comes on in the living room or kitchen and shit. So I'm like, what the fuck are they up? She's like, nah, they're just going to go back to sleep. So, all right, the light will go off. So let me say this time I went down there, bam. I couldn't get through her window because I was used to be tripping so much so high. I forgot to put her window, uh, put the screen back up. So um, the daddy thought somebody was trying to break in the house and shit or whatever. So he ended up <laughs> bolting her window up. So I had to go to her sister window this time. I had to put, actually put a trash can by the window and get on top of the trash can and get in the window. Mm-hmm. And then the fucked up thing is her window uh, the window I had to get in, her sister bed uh headboard was was pushed against the window, so I had to get around the headboard and shit. Like this gonna, you know, getting around the headboard. That's <laughs> that's gonna be the crazy part at the end. So, man, we in there, we doing our thing. 
the light come on. I look on the door. I'm like, damn, the light on again. She was like, oh, he about to go fishing. <laughs> I said, what? She said, he about to go fishing. I said, oh, fuck, man. So I get in this bitch, had her throw my clothes on. She throw her clothes on, you hear me? Boom, I heard the door close. So now I'm trying to creep <laughs> into her sister room to go and get out the window. As soon as I get to her sister room, I hear the door come back open. Shh. I ran back in her room, bro, and dove on side the bed and just pulled the pillow, uh, pulled the cover on side of me. Now her bed was pushed up against like the wall, so it would look like nobody was. It just would look like the cover would just be hanging over and shit. So I'm sitting there, laying under the uh, cover. The door swung over. Boom! Who you had in here? She was like nobody. He's like, I'm not fucking playing with you. Who the fuck you had in? <laughs> she was like, nobody. She got up. He said, I'm not playing with you. Who you had in here? She said, nobody. He said, what you been doing? She said, nothing. He said, what that is dripping down your leg? She looked at her and said, nothing. He hit her. Pow. Oh, she ran. So when he hit her, kid you not, I've never seen this man before. The way he's screaming and yelling, I'm thinking this some, this a big swole nigga with a bald head. I'm like, boy, this dude about to fuck me up in y'all, boy. I'm scared as a motherfucker. I'm still on side the bed now. <laughs> so look, so when he hit her, she ran to the front to her mama. Mama, daddy hit me, daddy hit me. So me, being me, trying to get out this motherfucker, my, my trainer thought. So I get up while they going to the front to where her mama room at. I get up. I'm walking my way back to the door, trying to get back to her sister. Uh, <laughs> I hear him in the front. She been doing shit back there. Look, look what she, look, look on the leg or whatever. So I hear them coming back to the back. I run back in the room and dive back on side the bed. Son. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> man. So, <laughs> hold up, man. Hold up, man. I'm like, nah, so this shit here ain't real. So I'm in there, the dude in this bitch. He in there like Who the fuck you had in y'all She like I ain't had nobody in y'all He like So the nigga go to check it He go in her bathroom Boom Go in her closet Boom You hear me uh, Looked under the bed He still didn't see that Man That dude came And pulled that cover From on side of me Off of me bro The fucked up thing is I still stayed down there For like five or For like five seconds Like the nigga see me <laughs> Then he said who the fuck you is, man? <laughs> I jumped up. <laughs> I jumped. Uh, I jumped up. I said, <laughs> I don't, bro. Uh, Larry Johnson played for the Charlotte uh, Hornets a long time ago, bro. I jumped up, bro. I don't know why this name came in my head, bro. He said, who the fuck you? I said, my name Larry Johnson. Sir, I don't want no problems. I don't want no problem. My name is Larry Johnson. He said, what the fuck you doing here? I said, sir, I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. Nigga, I don't want no problems. Bro, every time I tell this story, niggas die. So, look. <laughs> so, the nigga said, what the fuck you do? I said, sir, I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. His mama said, what, what you doing in here? I said, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't want no problems. Dude said, I'm going to get my fucking gun. You heard me? When he said, I'm going to get my fucking gun. Now I jumped on top of the bed. I'm like, no, sir, you don't need to do that, sir. You don't need to do that. So now he's standing in the doorway. Now I told you I had to get in the window, in her sister window, to get in the trailer. So... When I, you know, I'm looking at him in the doorway, I'm saying to myself, man, I'm going to have to go through this nigga, man. And they said, I'm going to get my fucking gun, man. I jumped up in the bed. The nigga looked at me, you heard me. I said, I don't want no problem, sir. The nigga swung at me, Phil. I threw my hands up, bounced off the wall, hit him in the face, and took off running to the uh, to her sister room. <laughs> so when I took off running to her sister room, I told you I had to come around the headboard so it wasn't just going and opening the window and getting out the motherfucker i had to go around the headboard so while i'm going around the headboard the nigga he coming and he can grab my shirt you heard me? i know i was in i said oh he tried to get me try to get me <laughs> so look i'm playing with the two th i'm playing with the things on the windows to open the window the two adjusters to open the window 
somehow, bro, the whole window fell out, fell out, bro. So when the window fell out, I just threw my body out the window. Now, I kid you not, son, this is 4.35 o'clock in the morning. So now what yeah. you see, if you pass a by on the street, what you see is somebody <laughs> got somebody <laughs> hanging by one leg outside the window. <laughs> That's hilarious, <laughs> bro. Nigga. Bro. Not so, one, leg, bro. one leg, bro. So the nigga was holding my leg the whole time. My my uh my calf muscle was on the you know on the windowsill. So <laughs> the nigga was holding me. So I had to punch the nigga head like three times, son. When I punched the nigga head three times, son, the nigga let me drop. Bam, I hit the ground. So now I'm walking up the street, going back to my house, <laughs> with a toy shirt on, hurt. one shoe, a toy shirt, and I'm walking back to my house. <laughs> oh, bro, that was the most crazy, bro. That was the most craziest night. One of the most craziest night I ever had, bro. Dealing with a female, bro. And I was like, ain't no fucking way in the world, man. And that's what I had. <laughs> that nigga was fighting he, a titan. Uh, he was fighting a titan, dog. No, but oh, I forgot the to fuck? tell you. He wasn't um like I thought. How I thought he was. He wasn't that. He was an older guy. So that's how I was able to hit him, and he kind of got out my way a little bit, and I ran around him and shit or whatever. He wasn't right. what I thought he was in my head when I was he and the nigga. Yeah, where the fuck he at? What who he at? Like he wasn't that. I thought he was something totally different. So man, yeah, that was just a crazy little experience right there. Jesus Christ, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a, we are the worst niggas out. What we doing? We ain't getting no sponsors, dog. <laughs> What are yeah, we doing? About one leg, man. Uh, one leg, man. Right, one leg. Wild, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Hey, oh, that nigga tried it. That nigga tried it. Let that nigga leg go. Let that nigga leg go. It was man. Boom. That's how it hit the ground. Boom. I say, man, this nigga, let me go. I'm a nine to five, nigga. That that shit that was wild, boy. I said, man, enough somebody pass by and see this shit, man. I was like, ain't no way, man. What you got, Phil? I got a plenty. I can't even. I feel like if I, man. All right. <laughs> We're gonna do we're gonna do an Odie but goodie. <laughs> All right. We're gonna do an Odie but goodie. Some of y'all heard this story, some of y'all haven't. All right, cool. Hmm. It's 2018, Danish chick. I'm staying with her. Everything all good. Right. Um another chick that I'm talking to we still cool but she's still feeling your boy so i'm like ah yeah this shit go we kicking it because she she stays at another spot in the same place that i'm staying at right so we're staying in the same complex right so i see her she see me all that type of good shit we kick it one night with her her girl and she got her little Boyfriend or whatever kicking with her, we in the car or whatever. This is like I said, it's already been good, but it's short, but it's cool, right? So we was kicking it, drinking, smoking in the car, whatever, just having the, you know, just just kicking it right there where we was at. Somebody pulls up, boom, they come out the car, come to, she was sitting on the. Passenger rear side, right? I'm on the, I mean, she was on the, sitting on the driver rear side behind a home girl, and I was behind, I was in the rear passenger behind the other dude that old girl was talking to, right? Boom, nigga just come up, grab the door handle, boom. I'm talking about the shit. Damn, it was like a superhero movie when I think about it. Like, cause nigga just like opened the door, grabbed her, just swooped her off the car. And it was kind of like it was a split second moment. I was like, I could not do nothing. 
but given the history, I really can't not do nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, ugh, kind of got to step in this situation. So I immediately get out the car. He has her, like, pent up against, like, the the rear panel of the car. On some same shit, like, how you was talking about, uh, Lucci. Awesome, like, cancel your phone. I mean, not, not Lucci, Cal. Cal, on some, like, you cancel your phone. Uh, what's going on? All the type of bullshit. So, it's like, okay, cool. Because I'm, you know, I'm, I keep it player. Like, I ain't, I ain't really into all that. Like, I'm just... Really cool. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? You got your own thing, whatever, like that. But so that happens. Boom. I get out the car. I address the shit. Then she, like, tries to calm him down, right? Because he's going to his driver's side car looking like he's reaching for something. So I tell the nigga, I was like, oh, you better use it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you better use it. You better use it, cause if you don't, I'm about to. Right, so Phil. She, right, she, Phil. Right. If you right don't, Phil. I'm about to. So yeah, on, on all that crazy shit, right? She's she's in a fit, right? Cause she's caught in the dichotomy of between two niggas that she, I guess, I don't, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who this brother is. Get to that later on in the story. I don't know who this brother is, but it was just the fact that so I got, a, I I got a question. I got a question that you just you just proposed in my mind that I want to ask niggas after you finish your story. But proceed with your story, bro. Right. So, boom. She's telling him to calm down. So I tell him that I tell him that statement like, "Oh, if you you know what I'm saying, you better use it." If you don't, I will. So, boom. I walk off. Now I'm in a rage, right? I'm in demon time rage. I'm crying. I'm very upset. I'm reaching for my gun. While this is happening, a girl is, like, running up, begging me. Like, damn, they're groveling, like, begging me, like, don't, please, stop, don't, don't. Don't, cause she know I'm crazy. Like I'm, I'm not crazy, but you know what I'm saying. Like you push a nigga to that point. Like nah, you just you gonna just sit there and disrespect me. You gonna you gonna try to reach for some shit like you ain't, bruh. Don't do that. Don't do that to me, because I now I feel like my life is threatened for. So now I gotta go get my shit. Cause you think a nigga playing. You think a nigga sweet. Think shit. Uh, you know, okay. All right. Cool. Thirty eight gonna hit you. <laughs> Please, please, I'm crying. I'm all this type of boohoo, boohoo shit. So, I eventually calm down. I let the shit go. Woo, woo, woo. Right? A couple of days later, I get a screenshot message from said girl from dude messaging her, right? Message was like, in, in the short story, it was just like, Tell bro, I ain't really mean all that, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to, you know what I'm saying? I was just, I was just drunk, you know what I'm saying? He had yeah, yeah, right to act like he acted, boom, boom, boom. I wasn't going to do nothing to him. Boom, boom. I was like, so these are the type of niggas that you fuck with? Then these, this, this is what it is. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, I get it. But that was the craziest night to me because it was just so much like random emotion because we weren't like fucking at that point, we was just kicking it, it was you and your homegirl, she was talking to a guy, so you didn't want to make her feel unincluded in the situation, so I was there, so boom, 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 you know what I'm saying, like that type of situation, but then for that to pop up, and knowing the history me and you got, you wouldn't think, why would you think I was just gonna let that shit slide, just like that, and then for this nigga to try to try me, after I just told you, bro, chill, chill the fuck out. What the fuck you got going on, bro? That's not even how you. This is just stupid. And then you walk to your, you walk to your driver's side car, open the door like you finna reach for something. I'm like, bro, if you don't, you better use it. Don't let me get to my shit before you. Trust me, cause I'm finna come back out here busting. Not finna even gonna be no talking. I feel threatened for my life, officer. Fuck. But yeah, that was crazy. I don't I don't never wanna like and that's another that's another part. It's like a lesson to the story. I don't really wanna like never get to that point. 
where it's like something like that would influence me to be like, well, I need to take another man's life. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it'd be instances when your life where that, like you feel like it's necessary for that shit to happen, but not in that type of instance because that was something I wouldn't even like, that's somebody I wouldn't even romantically involved with at the time. So it's like, eh, eh, eh. This is, it's really a homegirl at the, at the at this point in time, but you just not finna just come up here and just act like it's just sweet. Like, like fuck, fuck. <laughs> Uh, God, I hate, I hate, I hate having that mindset. But it's, sometimes you gotta have that. What they say on Twitter, got that dog in you. Yeah, sometimes you gotta have that dog in you, bro. Like I ain't finna just let like no nah, petty shit ain't just finna just go by like that, bro. I got another instance with with, this, with the same girl and her. As soon as we baby daddy trying to look for her, and she want to put my hoodie on and try to feel like shit sweet. When I'm like. Chick, I put I put the gun right there in front of her. Like, all right, well, look, well, if nigga, any nigga come in here, I'm popping him. Pause. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I ain't no like. Nah, I'm gonna play all this shit. You want to run over here? And feel like you safe? Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. Well, I'm going to shoot a nigga if he come through here. Plan. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. I don't know, bro. I just, just I'm don't, just, bro, just, 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 ah, just be calm, fellas. Be calm, be calm, be I mellow. Don't, 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 you know what I'm saying? Age, just, you ah, can't, you can't you fuck with women in relationship. You can't. Shout out to the young, you know what I'm saying, listener. Bro, don't. I'm do older now. Stuff. That was I, was. I was 27 yeah, then. Okay. I was 27 then. I'm 33 now. Yeah, this is totally different. Like, uh, totally nah, different. nah, nah, nah. With that being said, you know what I'm saying? Feel what I will say. This is fucked up what I'm gonna say. I'm sorry. I'm gonna just be honest. Go ahead, brother. Say what There's you gotta no say. There's no nice way for me to say this. Then we gotta, you know what I'm saying? We gotta kick it back to, to our brother Boom. Let him handle the Cause you know Boom, Boom got Boom got a crazy story. Please. <laughs> and and more importantly, Boom is MCing this shit. So with that being said, Facts. as niggas, as, as niggas. niggas, I'm turning on the bat signal. As niggas, we, we, need to, we need to stop fighting each other when these types of situations happen. Let's Negros. just jump the bitch. Let's just jump the bitch, call it even, and both get new bitches. Right. Let's do right. that. Right. That's it. I'm going to propose that. Y'all can feel how y'all want to feel about this shit. Oh, yeah. callous. Callous, toxic, and that act. whoop de whoop I don't give a fuck. This bitch knew she was playing with two dangerous entities and chose to engage in such and feels like she can just omit imminent disaster by pitting two of these entities against each other. No. Hey, what's up, Unc? You fucking with her? Yeah, Cal. I'm fucking with her. All right, cool. I'm fucking with her, too. Let's beat this bitch the fuck up, and we both find new bitches. How about that, my nigga? Bet. Lean this hoe. I'm with it. I'm going to take a look there. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, you know, I told niggas, I told niggas at the beginning, I said, it's the big <laughs> bottle drinking, full throttle thinking, always and forever scheming, blessed young heathen. Damn. I told you, niggas. You practiced that shit. My Robert, no. I hate it. Come save no, us. I didn't. <laughs> I said, fucking with you. <laughs> nah, I really nobody, didn't practice it. Crazy. I wrote it. Don't nobody come crazy the today. Funny part, <laughs> Lucy, the funny, the funny part is I wrote this shit down during the sleepers. The sleepers inspired me to write that. Oh, shit. Don't, don't play. <laughs> we ain't playing. Hey, hey, young ladies. Hey, women. Respectfully, I won't even call y'all bitches because I'm not angry. We love you. It. No, because, hey, the words of fat boy, it may not sound like we love you, but we do. I promise I we do. We do. I promise I do. With that being said, sweetheart, uh, the same rules apply. You play fucked up games, you win fucked up prizes. Don't let this be mm-hmm. one of the prizes you get nominated for. Respectfully. That's me. I'm done. I'm done. That's all, all right. I'm going to say. All right. We're going to pass it over to Thanos, man. What's up, Thanos? What's good with y'all, man? Uh, I've been trying to think of something like PG because, like, a lot of my stuff is drugs and 
Man, we don't care. Bass up jail and hey man, PG. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I was gonna tell y'all this stabbing thing? story. I'm I'm gonna just give y'all a real quick one, man. So the last the last uh black chick I dated, man, name was Netta. This was like 20, 2014, 2015, man. Uh is that sure for, for Antoinetta? Hey man, listen, man. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga tried to not tell her name. Nobody else said names, and he said, "Come on, Ty. Yeah. Come on. Ty. All right, just, just let, 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 let me rock I, with the nickname, man. Just let me rock I, with the I, nickname. I, 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 know, I, know, I just, I'm bad. I'm trying to take it to the next level. My bad. I'm you good? Like, you good, man? Nice. We we good right here, bro. So, uh, I had a, I used to work at a place called Furs out here in Wichita, which was like a restaurant. I used to uh wash dishes. And there was, a, I had a, a homegirl of mine, white chick. Um, um, I'm just, I'm gonna say her name. I almost said her name, man. Younger, she was a couple years younger than me. Real cool, man. Like, real sweet. She was in college, you know what I'm saying? We never did nothing. She's damn near like my little sister for real, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just started dating this chick, Netta, man. We are laid up. Uh, homegirl from work calls, right? And she just wants to talk, man. She's having some, some, you know, man issues or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, we get to chopping it up. Netta's like, who's that? Who's that? Why are you talking all low like that? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Grabs the phone, puts it on speaker, like, who that for you? Bloop, bloop de doo blam. You know what I'm saying? And my homegirl is like, I'm just a friend from work. Like, who are you? Like, super scared. You know what I'm saying? Netta starts cussing her out, man. Say she's going to cut her throat when she sees her. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I start trying to grab my phone, man. She starts slapping me upside my head, man. Like, Mm. grabs my phone like i'm not drinking that night you know what i'm saying i'm not on not on dope or anything you know what i'm saying so i'm just completely sober trying to be cool man trying to grab my phone back she won't give me my phone back man she goes to the bathroom man here cussing her out again hangs up calls her back comes out just so she can see me text <laughs> you know she's texting herself this girl's number you know what i'm saying i kid y'all not man i tried to calm her down man she would calm down and then she would call her again she left this girl probably like nine voicemails all the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Don't call my man no more. I'm a whoop you whoop de whoop, you know what I'm saying? Bliggity blue blah blam, right? I finally oh get this girl to calm down, man. Lay down. I fall asleep, man. And this I'm gonna just leave the story here, bro. <laughs> I wake up at like two or three in the morning. This girl is up by the lamp whispering, I swear to God, if I catch you. <laughs> 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 that nigga talking. Oh, oh, hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo. You said, you said. She's leaving this girl voicemail at two in the morning, bro. Like, just oh, that God. crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, like, that's the light. That's the lightest story I got, bro. But that's oh, you know, shit. I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah. That's filthy, filthy, filthy work. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, 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 Phil, I, I see, I see niggas scared. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Phil, let me, let me, let me. Hey, and Lucci, let me do this. Oh, one, one legitimate one. So I'm, I'm, I'm Cal. I'm Cal. I don't know what y'all want from me. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my girl loves me. In light of knowing my history, you see what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was, like, yeah, I was a little, I was a wild nigga. With that being said, I was fucking on, fucking on two joints at the same time, specifically. I had other joints that I was handling, but these two joints in particular, two young ladies, both, you know, dope professionals, and they are established and living better now. But at that time, we were in college. I was hitting this one joint, hitting this other joint. Whoop de whoop. One of the nah. other joints got really mad because they're working together. And we'll we'll say, we'll say, we'll say, we'll say, what what can we say this girl's name is? We'll say puffs and we'll say slim. Puffs. What? I'm I'm, hey. that's, 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 their, that's their nicknames. That's their nicknames. I'm I'm not gonna say their real what? names. I don't even know why he had. It's a barber. Damn right. Puffs, <laughs> puffs and slim. You see what I'm saying? So 
swim is real cool. You know what I'm saying? Like real, just kind of chill. Da da da. Like we're not we're not gonna be dating anytime soon. Like we know what each other are to each other. Type chick. You see what I'm saying? Puffs. You see what I'm saying? Puffs. That's I'm hitting lot. her too good. You see what I'm saying? Like I, 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 I got the little little Xbox achievement. The niggas who play video games know you get the little. Oh, this unlock. I hit that for her for some reason. Mm -hmm. So puffs is like, bam! Nah. I'm gonna go through this with the phone. <laughs> oh, he like, nah. He like, nah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Puffs was like, I'm going to go through this nigga phone. Boom. <laughs> she goes through my phone. She finds Slim. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And she's instantly tight because she cross-references like the number with her co-worker. Now she's mad. You see what I'm saying? So she, she essentially like confronts the co-worker on the job. You mm. see what I'm saying? Like, so I have to... I have to hear about this shit secondhand, like after the fact from niggas that I know there who are like, bro, uh, Puff's kind of press slim. Like, I don't know what the fuck is about to blow back on you, but hey, <laughs> this shit is about to be unhealthy. We, 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 yeah, we letting you know this shit about to <laughs> yeah. hit the pain, my brother. So I'm instantly, I'm like, ah, I'm on guard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm protecting, I'm preparing my mind for bullshit. Because women right. are not original. It's always going to be, we need to talk. Bitch, what the fuck do we need to talk? We never really need to talk. Unless it's right. negative shit that you feel like you got on me. So, boom. Puffs is like, we need to talk. Slim hits me up like, Get that bitch. That's all she says. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, this is what we do. Apparently, this shit went left. Threats were made. Things were said. Whoop de whoop. My name was drugged through the mud. Apparently, but me being me, I was like, okay, well, cool. I can save it. I can salvage this. You know what I'm saying? I'm a smooth talking, handsome, educated young brother. I could salvage this. I could salvage the whole thing. You know? I'm powerful. This is, yeah, this is this is bro, this is me like early, early, early twenties. I'm like, I could do this. I could do this, right. Nah. 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 I got That's confronted by for. Puffs. Puffs was on some wild shit. Slim was like, uh, you know, I'm going to see when I see. You know what I'm saying? Like, figure that shit out. Like, don't bring that shit to my doorstep. Like, that's my place of business. Get these hoes right. And I was like, oh. At that point, I was like, I think I love this bitch. Why are you so cool with disaster? You see what I'm saying? Like, why are you so cool? Which, ah, I think I love you. Puffs, on the other hand. Did some next level wild shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get her brother involved. Me and her brother are cool to this day. Um, in light of this situation, though. But my usually brother's gonna... You said what, G? I said usually how it happens. Yeah, because respectfully, it's like, bro, I understand niggas who want to protect their sisters, bro. Like, I'm not... Right, I'm exactly. Never going you, get, you, get where, you get where that brother coming from, so you ain't really like, come on, bro. Like, I ain't really... Come on. Yeah, I'm not really beefing with you, dog. Um, right. But Puffs... Puffs was a very uh, dysfunctional choice for me at the time, and I was a dysfunctional nigga. I was on... I was on weed. I was on all different types of pills. I was on Adderall. I was on um, DMT. I was doing lean at the time. I was doing liquor. Judgment was shitty. I ended up dating puffs like a fucking moron. You see what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. Because it was it was the pride side of me that was like, damn, like I want my bitches to stand ground. You know what I'm saying? Right. You will. Even though Slim would have probably been the better option at that time for me. Like I needed somebody to mellow me out. Looking, but looking I back did on, that. Mm. 
Yeah, but I did that, and I was a wild nigga in light of it. You see what I'm saying? I, I was doing stupid shit. Mm. That shit was super wild because... um, ah, I don't want to share this next part. Nope, nope. Kind of Patreon. Patreon! Next okay, subject. Hey, Lucci. Boom. Yeah, Lucci, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, up? go ahead. Patreon. We're making your job easy. Yeah, uh, what's up, Thanos, <laughs> <that noise>, man? <laughs> Now, Thanos got the next topic. Mm-hmm. What's up, Thanos? Can we end that? Mm-hmm. Yo, we're gonna. Uh, yeah, Thanos got the next topic. We're gonna we're gonna transition real quick. Before we transition to the next topic, man, I want to shout out all of our listeners, all of our subscribers who've been listening, who've Thank been supporting you. the podcast. We appreciate y'all. I think we're up to like what 57, 58 subscribers right now. We're gonna hit at Thank least two hundred before the end of the summer. You know what I'm saying? That's how we rock them in. But we actually, we got a sponsor today, bro. This episode is sponsored by BundleUpBabyStore.com, man. They got all your baby supplies, all your baby needs. We got, uh, we got, we got blankets. We got head pillows. We got uh, traveling uh, baskets to carry carry your kids in. Man, we got traveling bags, man. When you need to, you know, suit up. You know what I'm saying? Go hit the road, you know, put up the bottles and the baby formula and the diapers and all those type of things. The the rags, Fire. you know what I'm saying? The baby wipes. We got baby no. pillows for breastfeeding for some of you women who like to be out in public, like to show off, you know, what's going on. You got a, a comfortable pillow where your baby can literally lay down and drink that natural, you know what I'm saying, that natural milk from the mom in comfort. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They don't got to be rough. They don't got to be held up against the chest. They don't got to be suffocating. Got a nice, cushy, comfortable pillow. This is BundleUpBabyStore.com for all of your baby needs. Shout out to all the single dads out there who don't get enough love, who don't get enough shine, don't get enough support. This is a great website for you. Shout out all the mamas out there that's doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, raising their babies. Grandparents who may have, you know, newborns or infants. This is a great website to check out, you know what I'm saying? If If you're trying to get right with your baby mama... And she's been accusing you of, of not being supportive or or not helping them take care of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Hit up this website, man. BundleUpBabyStore.com, man. Hook her up with some traveling bags. Hook her up with some baby pillows, man. She will appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to transition right to the next topic. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to know what are brothers listening to past couple weeks? What are you watching on TV, man? It could be old, new. Overseas, whatever. What you what you listening to and what you watching? Let's start with Caliber. Uh, with me personally, I'm still listening to the Kendrick album. I'm a very uh, I am who I am. So when shit connects with me, like I need to listen to it consistently to figure out the perspective. Um, the reason for that, because I'm gonna be honest with you, like I'm not really watching a lot of different shit. I'm listening to things. So as far as music is concerned, I'm listening to Kendrick because Kendrick is in a space similar to where I'm at. Like his whole therapy rollout for uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Like I'm currently going through therapy and shit like that, trying to better myself and trying to better the relationship that I have with my woman. You see what I'm saying? So that shit, um, that shit hits to me. Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper still hit to me because mm-hmm. even the shit that he said, the uh, why, oh, why, oh, why they keep fucking with me? They gonna make me jump out my skin completely. Like that, right there, I feel like that often, daily. Why are you niggas fucking with me, dog? You really gonna make me go back to somebody I don't want to be. Like, let I me love when you count. It. I love when you count me out. I love right. you, Kelly. Yeah. Wow. You know that shit, no, yeah. no, Phil. I was, I was really in a dark place, mad, like rage mad. And I laid down and listened to that, and I was like, okay, so I'm not alone. I, stressed, I don't feel I'm stressed out, stressed out. Right. Yeah, I, feel you, I feel you, dog. That shit. I need is all right the love. There. I need all the drugs. <laughs> I was like, yo, right. dude, talk to right. me. Right. Talk to me. You know I need that. I need that. Yeah, push some niggas off me like, like. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I,
<laughs> you may have to do. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar, my nigga. He he has a creative way of assaulting <laughs> niggas consistently. This nigga <laughs> told us if I if I had to snap a if I have <laughs> to slap a pussy ass nigga, I'ma make it look sexy. Right before he told us, push these niggas off me like. Huh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, I, I like that. I, my spirit need that. Right. Also need that. Um, I, I wrapped up the boys on Amazon Prime. Right. I wrapped <laughs> I wrapped up the boys on Amazon Prime. Um I really like this. I really like this angle that storytelling <laughs> is going in in regards to superheroes. Like niggas really look at the superheroes and be like Yeah, like niggas really look at superheroes like these pussy ass niggas like Captain America. And be like, oh, that nigga wouldn't be racist or what? Well, well, nigga, the majority of white America in that era was racist as fuck. Literally, that was the time that niggas instituted white gangs coming into uh, like military format, like coming into the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, all of that, the Coast Guard, everything like that. So yes, he would have been a victim of indoctrination. This nigga is not a perfect, clean, big-hearted white man. No. This nigga would have been a racist, just like Soldier Boy was in The Boys. That's who Captain America really is. But say that to say this, I appreciate the forms of media that I'm watching. Um, and finally, Billions is what I'm watching. That's on Amazon Prime as well. Um, it's about like district, district attorneys essentially going after people who are the faces and the heads of multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar companies and essentially prosecuting them to the fullest extent of the law. Um, I like shit like that. And finally, my last part, I like true crime shit, so I'm listening to just the debauchery of humanity. Um, because I like to remind myself it doesn't matter how nice people are in front of you. It doesn't matter how people present themselves. Everybody has a dark side. Some of us just manifest that dark side differently than others. That's it. That's what I've been on. Brother Phil. Phil not going? Oh, no. Go ahead, Ty. Go ahead, Ty. All right. Uh, I'll make no, my no, quick no, no, my okay. bad. My bad. I was, mute. I was muted. I'm going to make a quick... Uh, Thing I was good. Uh, the hustle movie with Adam Sandler, mm, okay. fire! I don't even watch movies. I don't even watch TV like that. I don't even do the TV shit like that. That movie, you know, I'm a sports guy, but that movie right there, fire! I like the story. I like the plot. Everything good writing, all that shit. And Adam Sandler had damn near everybody in the NBA you could think of in the goddamn movie. So I was just, I was impressed off that aspect. Like, damn, nigga, he had everybody. It anybody you could think anybody who was that guy was in that movie, bro. So I'm like, damn, he put some major strings to pull this shit off. So that was fire. Uh, what I'm listening to now, man, I'm listening to a lot of shit, bro. You know, I'm you know sleepers bag. That's me. So I'm, I can't even tell you, bro. Like. I can just tell you genres. Like I'm definitely in the, you know, I'm still, I'm still, in the, I'm still in the hip hop bag. Westside Gun, you know, fuck with that. Pray, uh, Fly God, you know what I'm saying? Peace, fuck Fly God. Peace, Fly God, you know, fucking with oh, that yo. heavy. That big ass bro. Hey, yo. hey yo, hey yo, hey <laughs> <laughs> yo. Do, 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 do. Ever had that Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo. Oh man, hey yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with God Westside, man. I don't think that's hate. I know he, I know he hate him. He don't like. He he loves like put a little beat. Like nah, bro. Sometimes you just gotta let nigga just rap, bro. Just say like no shit, drums. bro. Just talking, no drums, like no you know? you gotta, sometimes you gotta let nigga just talk his shit, bro. Man, just let man. Him in that big ass. What the fuck is that in that big ass bracelet? Look, I'm gonna play this after look. After I stop oh, talking, I'm literally gonna unmute, unmic must down, and play crack. that. Must be crack. Hey man, look, man, that shit's so fire. Uh, I'm fucking with uh, 
Actually, I'm gonna say I'm fucking with. I got to listen to the Brent Fires album. I got to listen to it, so I got I got to take Fire. some time out to listen to that. I wanna I wanna mm. listen to. It. I've heard good things. I've heard good things. I've heard good things. So I wanna I wanna take the time out to listen to that. Uh, I've been R and B bag heavy. I'm still hip hop, trap, alternative British trap. Like Tim? you know, I'm I'm already the the Thames is fire. I'm not gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? I would I had a record of her I was gonna play on the on the on the sleeper, but I was like, I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the, the orbit record. I like that. I, I was listening to that this morning. I was like, okay, cool, I'll fuck with that. Play that. All right, cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh that's it, bro. That's all I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh let me give y'all a couple of suggestions, a couple of suggestions, shit that I shit that I like. Shit that I like. Shit that I like. Hello, hello, hello. Shit that I like. The way of the house husband. Uh-huh. Y'all check that out. Y'all check that out. The way of the house husband. I like that. I like that. I like. I like that. I like. I like that. Um, it's anime. It's based off an of actual like real life joint, but they they did it in a cartoon format, and it's dope. It's on. Is it on Netflix? It's on Netflix. Way of the house husband. That's dope. I like that. I usually watch that when I go to sleep. Like, I don't want to watch where the house Uh, Oldie but goodie. Initial D. If you like cars, if you like shit like that, if you like cars, you like Japanese cars, you like shit getting modded up, and Initial D. Fuck with that. That's it. That's all I got, y'all. That's all I got. I'm out. I'm finna go listen to some music. Peace. Wait, 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 and know that anime Uh-oh. got some intros for niggas. Uh oh. That can punch with niggas. Like the 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 rug rat, the the shit on Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and Cartoon Network. With that being said, here we go. Oh my god. Hey, you can. That's groovy as hell. Watch this, Phil. Couple seconds. Right. About to go crazy. Right. About to go crazy. Right. Ah. Nigga. 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 Niggas, that's crazy. Niggas outside, man. Phil, you remember that? That's that tsunami, tsunami, nine thirty p.m. shit, man. That Adult Swim, ten thirty p.m. shit. And Phil, you heard that? You heard that? Because they could have easily harmonized a few of them chords, bro. That right. and suddenly I turn to wish it in my mind. Mm-hmm. Right up. That could have got bad. Could have got bad for niggas. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you was punching with niggas. Badly. Yes. 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 That's ah. I got I got these feel in abundance. I got this. Man, I got you Hunter, niggas Hunter. fucked up out of here, man. Right. I got this. This. I got Hunter Hunter. I got my fucking uh. Attack on it's a few of these scores. Nigga, nigga, you got that Maroni Kenshin low key. 
Hey, chill, chill. That's a that's the, the ace in the pocket. Chill, 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 chill. chill. Yeah, yeah, that's it. yeah. Hey, that's it. We gonna keep that in the touch. Thanks. Nigga, you come out the gate with Pokemon. The I wanna catch them all. Uh, that's just you not Is playing. With that, you don't even gotta go. Oh my god, bad shit. Yeah, man, my bad, my bad. We kind of divulge from ritual shit. My fault. My fault. This is my day off, gentlemen. <laughs> like, this is what we're doing. Nigga, I'm about, to, I'm about to play that shit. Soon as this shit over, nigga. <laughs> nah, hey, 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 Gio, don't leave. Gio, don't leave. After this shit over, nigga, we can play this bitch in here. I got some shit. Like, uh, uh, I'm in the building, man. I'm in the building, man. <laughs> yeah, I think we about done with this, though, huh? Got one more. Uh, that was the last topic. That was the last topic, huh? Yeah, that's what it seems like today, Luchi. I can't always. Okay. Can't all always. Right. Another episode, uh, man. You want, you want to close us out, Cal? You close us out. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for actually tuning in to what we do here. All types of debauchery and entertainment by which we provide you with. This is the Is We Pod and Podcast. Please pay attention to the description box. It will teach you how to join the Discord, how to contribute to the conversation, and how to actually mic up and voice your concerns, topics, critiques, and positivity if needed. With that being said, Is We Pod? Yes, sir.